Hello, my name is Tony Locke. I'm an analyst with Freeform Dynamics. The early use of flash in storage was very much as a cache to provide really good performance for applications that demanded performance above everything, cost included. Um, but things moved on quite quickly, and the first generation or flash arrays were usually designed to meet a relatively small number of workloads desktop virtualization, high performance analytics in particular, because there was still a price premium in there, but these were the workloads where that price premium was justifiable. But today, things have moved on even further. We've now reached the stage of generation two, or flash arrays, where we're beginning to see the potential usage for such systems to support a very wide range of applications inside the enterprise. This means that a Generation 2 or Flash Array needs to be designed with a number of characteristics. Clearly, it needs to be able to support a wide range of workloads, not just systems that have very similar performance and protection requirements. And then we need to have a number of services wrapped around this, from data protection, quality of service management, um, and indeed data compression and deduplication. But we need to have very granular control of these because Generation 2 or Flash Arrays are designed to support a range of workloads. We need to be able to define the quality of service, the data protection, the data compression usage for each individual workload, not all or nothing. But then we get to the really key factors. All flash arrays in the enterprise need to be able to provide really good disaster recovery capabilities, as well as high availability for systems that really demand that. We need to have transparent failover capabilities so that end users never even realize if there have been problems. Clearly, this means that we need to be able to trust systems, and that's trust that they're going to work over the lifetime of the platform. And nowadays, we expect even all flash systems to last for three, four, potentially five or six years. And we need to be certain that the vendor that's supplying such systems will be able to support us in our business needs. Are Generation 2 all flash arrays now available that can meet these requirements, that can deliver? to your business to support a very broad range of workloads? The answer is yes, but you've got to be able to cut through the noise and the hype in the market at the moment to identify the solutions that really would work for you and that from a vendor that you trust, because in storage, trust is everything. Generation two, all flash arrays are becoming the new storage normal, that's clear, and they will become very widely deployed very quickly.